All right, Friday, 11-6. Front squats to start, again for uh, a heavy single. And much of what was said on Wednesday regarding the back squats, okay, talking about virtuous movement, um, the, you know, having somebody watch you, have a second set of eyes, um, definitely a good idea. Have somebody there watching saying yay or nay, okay? Um, I think it's important, as I mentioned, to have some both positive feedback um, that can also be, let's say, positively critical if those two words can go together, okay? Where you have the ability to tell somebody, yeah, you know, it was a good squat, but we got a little bit, of, we got a little extra real estate to get to. Um, and uh, the great thing about a front squat is, uh, yes, it's hard. It does require a little bit more core stability to hold a heavy bar in that front rack position while it wants to pull you down, but it forces you to stay in a good position and uh, helps promote some good midline strength and upper back strength. And of all the squats should be the most virtuous, similar to a wall ball, because it kind of does prop you up and, and allows you to sit down taller, okay? Um, but uh, yeah, front squat for a heavy single. And then we've got every five minutes for four sets, for 20 minutes, okay? So you got four, four sets here. Um, again, for cumulative time. 12 handstand pushups, 300 meter row for the guys, 250 meter row for the ladies, and then we've got eight muscle ups, okay? Um, so for the handstand pushups, that's probably about 45 seconds, maybe a minute of work at the most, okay? Um, we can always uh, do less volume, um, and I'd say for 12 or six or any volume, no matter what you're doing, no more than two ab mats, okay? In terms of them being stacked up underneath your head. We've also got the option to hold. Uh, I wrote 30 seconds. So you do a handstand hold for 30 seconds, practice some, some inversion. Um, and then we also got push-ups. We could just do 12 push-ups on the ground, which we know uh, is still tough, okay? So those are your options there. As far as the row goes, okay? If you're gonna bike, it's gonna be 0.4 for the guys, 0.32 for the ladies. Uh, if you're going to run, it's going to be 300 meters. It looks like it's still supposed to be pretty darn nice uh, on Friday. Okay, so you've got those two options. And then for the muscle-ups. So eight can be a pretty big set, all right? Um, so good, a good modification for this would be, ideally in the five-minute window, we're going to want to work for about three minutes and have at least two minutes of rest before we need to try and regroup and do it again. So you could say uh, maybe like a minute of work on the muscle-ups max effort in a minute. Um, we could pick a, a less volume. So your target might be five, might be four, okay? Um, you've got jumping muscle-ups on the ring. Uh, you've got turnovers on the rings. And your coach can show you that. That can be done with your feet on a box or on the ground. Always a good option uh, to kind of know what the muscle-up feels like. Um, then you've got bar muscle-ups as a modification. You could do jumping bar muscle-ups. Outside of that, we've got chest bars, regular pull-ups, ring rows. So there's there's a long list of options here. No matter what you pick, uh, it should be pretty challenging, but it should also be within a minute or less in terms of uh, the amount of effort time you're putting into it, okay? So again, 12 handstand push-ups, three slash 250 meter row, eight muscle-ups, your score is your cumulative time over those four efforts. And then we'll call it a Friday.